We start with the disturbing new details in a story we broke on ABC 15. A body donation company in the valley raided by the FBI, an agent stumbling on several gruesome scenes. And all new at 10, we're hearing a tragic account from a valley man and what happened to the body of his own mother. Here's ABC 15's Nicole Valdez. There are dozens of families who still don't know what happened to the bodies of the loved ones they donated to Biological Resource Center. Her name was Doris Stoffer. Jim Stoffer does know, but he almost wishes he didn't. It makes it hard to reminisce in a joyful way. Stoffer donated his mother's body in 2013 after she battled Alzheimer's. He trusted BRC to get her brain to neurologists who could hopefully learn more about the disease. And I think that trust was what they fed on. Years later, though, Stoffer says he found out what really happened. His mom's body, according to Reuters, was sold to the U.S. military. She was then supposedly strapped in a chair on some sort of an apparatus, and a, a detonation took place underneath her to basically kind of get an idea of what the human body goes through when a vehicle is hit by an IED. Every time I would dream about my mom, I told you she was a quiet person. This, this person in my dream was angry. Today, the inside of Stoffer's home is unchanged. Memories of Doris and the things she loved still on display, including a small box filled with the only six ounces of her ashes her son got back. He stole a lot more than my mom's body. Because every time you know you think about her, every time there's a memory, every time there's a photograph you look at, there's this ugly thing that happened just right there staring right at you. She'll never be forgotten here. Now, Stoffer is one of many suing BRC and its owner, Stephen Gore, who's serving probation right now for those illegal sales. But Reuters says the Pentagon actually told them they bought several people from BRC, but claim it was all under false pretenses, adding Gore misled the Army into thinking their families had consented. In Phoenix tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.